three things in life that are guaranteed, death, taxes, and the fact that gold scratches. What's going on everyone? It's Brandon with Code You Find Jewelry, Shore Personal Jeweler. I got an email from Paul. He says, Brandon, I've seen your videos on stacking chains of the same length and considering adding another chain of the same length. Do you know if it will cause damage to both chains by the constant rubbing? That is a great question, a question I get asked a lot. So without further ado, let's get into this review. Because this is YouTube and we all have attention spans of five seconds on an average YouTube video, let's get right into it. The short answer is yes, it will cause scratches while wearing gold. Anything, I don't care if it's 10, 14, 18, 22 karat, pure gold, nine karat, does not matter. If it has gold in that product, it's gonna scratch because that's what gold does. It's a good thing when you think about it, you know your stuff is real. Now the interesting thing to me when people ask it's the same thing, I want to wear two chains because I like it. I'm the same way, I like a certain length, I'm just going to stack and I've made videos recommending that. But people don't realize that most of that chain wears up top and to the middle of the neck. So even if you went with like a 22 and a 24, you're going to get slight separation at the bottom between those. That won't scratch, but as you guys know, most of the day it's rubbing up top. And then when you get ready in the morning, you put your lobster clasp behind your neck, you're ready to go. By lunchtime, that lobster clasp is down below. So that chain's twisting, rotating, and it's gonna scratch no matter if there's a separation or not. So the misconception is, I don't want my chains to scratch, so I'm gonna go with different lengths. They're gonna scratch no matter what. That is the sad truth, the truth I'm gonna give you today. So that is that. So no matter if you're going same length or different lengths, there's gonna run the risk of that scratching. Now to me, there's differences in scratches. There's like the scratch when you wear your bracelet, and I'll show my 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link that like I rub against the countertop accidentally or a wall and you just feel that <sighs> you know you did some damage there. That to me is a scratch, so scratches are deep. And what I'm talking about in this video are soft surface blemishes, very light scratches that are hard to pick up unless you're under the light, you got your flashlight on or you're looping it, then you're gonna see all those minor scratches and that's what I'm referring to. I'm not talking about these deep rooted scratches that you scratch against a countertop or something like that. This is surface scratches and that's what's gonna happen when you rub two gold chains together and if you don't have chains that aren't super heavy, um, like if you got some flat curbs or different lighter chains, it's not a big deal at all. And I know some of you guys are watching and I didn't offer any reassurance to you because you really don't want scratches. You want that chain to be perfect. You buy that new car, it's brand new, detailed. You want it to stay like that. It's not gonna happen though. Once you drive it off the lot, that rainstorm hits, the milkshake spills in the back seat, things happen, life happens. That's the same way with your gold jewelry. So my tip and what I really wanna get into with this video is it really depends on the link. So if you can't live with the idea or the acceptance of maybe I'm gonna have some surface scratches, some surface blemishes. And honestly guys, you guys see I do unboxing videos. I get all these chains in and they're all bunched together. Those blemishes could happen in transit. Those blemishes could happen when I ship it to you in that bag just rubbing against each other. It could happen anywhere. You kinda have to be okay with it. Now, my recommendation, depending on your taste, if you're like me and you really just don't care and you can accept it, you can just open your options up. But let me show you under the magnifier of different ideas or different options and my opinions on them. If you go with the high polished surface area, Miami Cuban link, heavy link, Jacoji link, stuff like that, you're gonna have those scratches more because there's more surface spaces. They're nice and polished, but they pick up those scratches. As you guys could see under the magnifying uh, glass, I have my five and a half Jacoji curb bracelet that I have, a 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link, five millimeter heavy link. Those are gonna show those blemishes, those scratches a lot more compared to the rope chain, the Franco chain. Items like that that hide those scratches a little bit well because they're separated with those diamond cuts. The Franco chain is the best at hiding those scratches. So if you can't live with it, I would recommend looking into a diamond cut Franco chain because you're really not gonna notice those scratches that much because it, the diamond cut and the separation in those links because of that diamond cut, it's gonna hide it better than let's say a very high polished Jacoji curb, a Miami Cuban link, or a heavy link. Seven millimeter rope chain on and honestly guys, I could wear seven more of these, I would not lose sleep over scratches because you're just not gonna see them. Yes, if I take this thing off and put it in the light and really examine it, I'm gonna start stressing myself out, but I don't 
don't recommend it because nobody around you is gonna notice any scratches on this rope chain. So if you're really worried about those scratches, again, different lengths, it doesn't matter because they're still rubbing up top. I got my everyday chains here. They're most of it, 90%, even though they're two different lengths, are rubbing against each other all day, every day. It does not matter. I don't take it off to examine and inspect it. As long as it's around my neck, as long as the lobster class is good, that's all I'm worried about. Now, people might be like, should I go in and get it clean? The only way to clean those scratches is by polishing it. You can't ultrasonic, steam clean it. It's not gonna go away. You have to polish it. The negative drawback to that is sometimes your chain, the polish is not that great, may break your chain. That has happened. People have emailed me. My chain is in two different pieces. I took it in the shop. They offered to clean it, and now it's broken. Or the most importantly is every time you polish gold, gold comes off that item. So if you go to your jeweler every month, every two months, every six months, your chain is going to weigh less and less every time you walk out of that shop, which I don't recommend. I recommend just keeping it good and not really worrying about it. As long as the integrity of the chain is good, that's all you need. Just know and live with the fact that yes, wearing gold chains, having gold items, they're gonna pick up scratches. That's just the way it is. I hate to be the bearer of bad news in this video, but I had to give you guys the truth. No matter if you're on one chain, five chains, or 10 chains, you're gonna pick up scratches along the way. That's just the reality of wearing gold jewelry. Honestly, I kinda like it. Yes, we all like brand new stuff, but nothing stays brand new if you use it. That's just what happens. The only thing you can do to avoid it and to make yourself more comfortable is to pick up chains, maybe like a rope chain, maybe like a diamond cut Franco that doesn't have such a large high polished surface area that's going to show those scratches. That's what you could do to protect yourself from really seeing it or trying to feel like you're going to notice it. Um, I would stay away from the high polish, the heavy links, cubic links, Jacoji links, things like that, Jacoji curves that are definitely going to pick up those scratches and show them. Again, under the light, if I just show you guys in the hand, you're not going to see it. It's not that noticeable. It is if you're really looking at it. So that's it for today's video. Let me know down below what questions you guys have. I'm always here to answer help the best that I can. Smash that like button. We'll see you on our next jewelry video.